Hello YouTube fans, this is the Scar Clown. Um, I'm not doing it. I was gonna have, have a mask and shit, but that doesn't matter right now. I'm still wearing green, obviously, one of my favorite colors. But um, I wanna say this. You know how some people, for example, Super Mario Brothers, some people hate it. You know, obviously the people love it now um, because it, you know, it's so bad that it's good. And plus there's been other bad movies. The, to me, the worst movie of all time will always be Cat in the Hat. I'm sorry. You just, most people are like, there's probably worse out there. I'm like, I'm sure there is. But Cat in the Hat is just, just that low of a tier. It's just that it's a corrupt business shit. And that is something that it would never, you know, that's just me. As a person, but everyone has their own movies that it's just the worst of all time. You know, it doesn't ha even have to be like horror. It doesn't. It could be any other. It could be like horror, action. It doesn't even fucking matter because that's the way it is. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying these things because I'll, I'm not treating no one stupid. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking, you know. But um, this, you know how um. There's movies out here, obviously, that are bad. And a lot of people, including me sometimes, always question why these movies are bad. A long time ago, I said that. I felt that. And when I got older, I realized that the reason these movies are bad and don't... Some of these movies are bad and don't make money. Or... For example, some movies are all good, but they don't make money still. And it bring, bring, um, builds a fan base. Because that fan base actually realized that there's something in this movie that resonates with us. And it just... It, for example, the Super Mario Brothers movie. And the reason it resonates with us is because there's actually inside your subconscious something that's true. You guys gotta think about it. I'm not saying... The thing is, this is kind of sad because if I talk more about it which i will in this video people will be like you don't have a, a degree in college you don't have this you don't have that so why the fuck should we listen to you who who, who gives a fuck if 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 you're right who okay cool cool but was a petition and it's just like is this and it's fucked up because the, the gen, my generation in a way is finally actually telling everybody is that is this how your life has always been is this the life you want to live or, or grow the fuck up it's like I understand and understand that, but at the same time, it's like, you got to think that you're being your own slave. You're making yourself your own slave with your mind. You don't you know, be thinking about that because they fucked up your mind, basically. The society, technically, not society, the government, you know? But it's not really political. It's just really up with that because this actually goes with the government. Um, Yes. Most people are like, movies have to go with the government. Yes, even the bad ones. Uh, you might not believe me or not, but there's a reason why these movies get made. Okay? So, if you still don't believe me, hey, humor me then. Just humor me. And if you find out something new, if you find out, like, the, like if something right here goes like, pops, like an aha, and you go like, ah, oh, my head, then that should tell you that it's true. Or something's up. So, some of these movies that are bad. First of all, like Halloween 3. People hate that movie. I hated that movie once. Then I enjoyed it. I watched it again. Gave it a chance. And I really enjoyed it. Then I when I grew spiritually and really in tune with myself. Like, when I started doing that. I started looking at these movies in a different light, guys. And most people that watch my videos know. Some people that don't watch my videos, don't know. That's why I'm doing this video on my main channel because a lot of people might not know. Um, because I, I love you guys. You guys have been here all, literally, you guys, some of you guys have been watching me since I was a fucking little kid. Most people are like, that's, you mean teenager? I'm like, it's still a kid. But, you're just a, a little mature adult, basically. But, when you look at these movies, some of them, actually, no, not some of them, all of them, you realize that something up, they're, te they're telling you something that you are not paying attention to. They're making movies about zombies. 
They're making movies about floods. They're making movies about superheroes. They're telling you. They, look, I'm not saying people don't want this shit. Of course there is. There is a fan base for it. But guys, you got to understand and understand why it makes money. Why it makes money. Because people like it. Yes, exactly. Because it's in your subconscious mind that literally you used to be like that. You might want to play around and shit, but you will go back and enjoy something. And then you're still going to think to yourself, why do I enjoy this? It's it, Obviously, I like it, but you got to think nothing is original. Everyone knows that. Even the things that all made that we know and love, it's not original. We know that, guys. Even if there's something, even if there's something different of creativity, like Star Wars is another story of like a, a samurai movie. The only different is, is it's a different coat of paint with, with um, um, what is it? Um, sci-fi instead of samurai. You know. And then what is it? And Bride of Chucky, and um, what is it? Bride of Chucky and Frankenstein. That's literally the same story of Anubis. Of how he died and reincarnated and shit. And that doesn't just go to Chucky. That goes to mostly all his movies and all movies in general. See, this is stuff that we need to think about, guys. Some people think that, oh, that's too much. You see, people say that, but then they, ne but then they have other questions like the meaning of life. Like, come on, man. Like, be smart here. Please be smart. You can't be that dumb. You can't be. If you went through school, basically, to the 12th grade, basically, and you did all the shit that you need to do, even if you drop out of school, it doesn't fucking goddamn matter because the school system sucks. Because it failed you. Yes, it did. You didn't. Look, let me tell you right now. If you dropped out of school, the, you didn't fail the school. The, full, the school system failed you. Okay? I want to tell you that right now. Okay? Don't be sad just because or you didn't make it in school and shit. Okay? Because it wasn't meant for us. And that's the first thing that you should think of. The first thing that you should think of. Alright? I used to get good grades in school, obviously. Like, A, B's, and C's. And that's it. You know? But you gotta realize, too, that they programmed you to literally walk all your life. Isn't that child abuse? Oh, wait. I I'm sorry. That's too much. How is it too much? I'm pointing out something that people should fucking look at, especially parents. But no, that's too much, right? This is why next year, there's actually going to be more people. Guarantee you. More people taking out their kids from school and homeschooling them. Guarantee you. Guarantee fucking to you that's going to happen. Guarantee you. So, um, going back to these movies, The Matrix, it, I'm not saying it's a bad movie, it's a great movie, but The Matrix tells you something. It tells you something for a reason that The Matrix, you, like, the world that you live in, all of these movies are documentaries, they're, all these movies are do documentaries, each and every one of them. There's, there's some of them, there's some movies that are, like, to lie to you, like the movie, like, Roots. That movie's a complete lie. Because they won't be showing these superhero movies. And they won't be showing the truth in these movies if you were a slave. Like that. There was slavery. I'm not saying there wasn't. Yes, there is. There, yes, there was. But the different but the backstory to the slavery shit was completely different. They lie to you about that. That is that is something that you haven't found out in your history. Some people over here might not believe me, but I'll say this. Have you been earning for something more all your life? Even your chores, it doesn't freaking matter. Everybody, I'm, I'm telling everybody here. All right? You could be an extraterrestrial too. I don't care. You could be everybody here. Have you been earning for something? Have you been thinking about like, what's the meaning of life, for example? If you've been thinking about that, then you, 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 in a way, you're already starting what's on your right path. But in a way, you have to keep going. You can't just look, say it and then go on your Monday life and not knowing what, what questions you have.
because you have questions. Or, but at, at one point, at one point, this is, this is not true now, because we live in a decade with information, obviously. There's no excuse anymore. No excuse. Um, sometimes we fuck up with our information. Yes, that's fine. Sometimes we fuck up. We're not perfect. But in the day of information, there's no excuse. There was no excuse for no one to not know what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why half of these people, some some on YouTube, not all, not all. And I'm, I'm not calling out no one that I know. No, I'm just people that, that I don't even know that I talk on YouTube. Like, hi, hi, YouTubers. I'm looking at them and I'm just like, you guys don't know what the fuck's going to happen right now. Your channels are fucked. Why? Because that's not, that's not No more internet. The movie Legion. A lot of people don't like that movie. I just recently watched it not so long ago. That movie literally just smacked you with the truth. Of what's going to happen soon. And the angels are not supposed to be so called white. I'm sorry, they're not. Because the real angels are actually carbon-based people. And that's not racist or anything. That's actually a fact and true. Think about this. In the other side of the world, a long, long, long time ago, you think there was Caucasian people and not dark-skinned people? Common sense. Some people don't have that. But seriously, common sense. I'm a... My ancestors are um, a freaking Afro-Latino. And they were born in America. They weren't born in other places that you, people think there is. Like Africa, Dominican, Puerto Rico. No, we all started here in America. All of us. All of us. They just want to lie to you about all this shit. Because they want you to feel foreign in your own land. That's fucked up. And you and I know, they tell you in history that there was some Met um, Mexicans around America a long time ago. Remember, the, remember when Mexico used to go all the way to America? People that have, people that have done, their his, done their history or even like told like your hard shit. Because there's some things that they tell you in history books that are complete lies. But, but they throw sprinkles of truth in it. Everything is a lie. Because everything that they tell you is to ground downgrade you. For example, the movie um, Stargate, that shit's real. That really happened. That's why they made a movie about it. Same thing with They Live. They Live, that's a true thing that's happening right, 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 right now. And some people don't even know this shit is happening. And it's 2020. Going to be 2021. Harry Potter, Star Wars, and the MCU made tons and tons and tons and tons of money. And I've said this before too. It made tons of money for a reason. Not because oh, we just like it. Not thinking your subconscious. Not th because some people out here are literally like robots. I'll say this right now. <clears throat> Not to get re religious. In a spiritual and enlightenment way. I'm not trying to offend anybody when I say that. Oh, religious. But you're going to find out the truth about religion. Whether you like it or not, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm not going to say it here. It, you will find out eventually, though. Oh, yeah, you will. You will. I'm sorry. You will. So, I already know, and I've said it in my other channel, so it doesn't matter if you go. So, all of these movies that you see, all of them, Jupiter Ascending, some people don't like that movie. To be honest, from what I'm hearing, it's getting like a cult following now, and I, I, I mean, I don't know if it is. 100%, but I'm like, hmm, 
you know, because I've been like in and out sometimes because I like to focus on myself. I really don't hear a lot of shit about fan bases. Like the whole Slender Man shit. Oh my God. Like I understand you had to upgrade Slender Man and shit. Obviously, everyone does that. Every fan base does that. But giving him a pedophile ma- a family member? What the fuck is wrong with these people? And then it's encouraged. What's wrong with you? You know, different than people that like cuties. Yeah, I said it. Jeez, man. Um, there are like um, let's see. There are things in this world that a lot of people still don't think it's real, but you're gonna find out. That's why they make these movies. This is why. The reason I'm looking at it, I'm looking at all my movies. Sorry, I'm not giving you eye contact, which is the most important thing in YouTube. I And I will agree with that if anyone says that, because you're looking at the person. Um, But the Alien series. That, um... Alien vs. Predator, the movie, is literally the history between carbon-based people, Hispanics and Blacks, in ancient times, versus extraterrestrial insectoids i'm not kidding you this is why they made a movie about it okay most people might be like but when he but when predator takes off the mask he he when the predator put has the mask on he looks like a snake doesn't he then when he has the mask on what does he look like he has the snake fangs but he looks like a, a freaking insectoid but yet he has got to fire hair a brother's hair you see? See you see how they try to play? And, and it's funny, too, because ever since when people saw The Predator, every so-called Hispanic and black that have that have long hair, they want to do that shit. Why? Because it's, it, it came from us. That's, that's who we are. That's who we are, man. That's how who, that's who we are, brother. Seriously. That's who we are. It's, it's, it's amazing. This is what they tell you in these movies. And a lot of people just want to watch it for entertainment. You could, but look at it as an educational thing also. They want to like, they like, people want to find out all the shit like extraterrestrials and all that shit. But these movies fucking flat out tell you. The information is right in front of you. And there's no, there's, there's, there's no arguing about it. Constantine? That movie, Constantine, is really fucking good. Another good Enlightenment movie. Alright? That part, when Constantine has to push that girl in the water to... Uh, well, yeah, that water, um, so she can have like almost like a near-death experience. And then all of a sudden she sees shit. Guess what happens? That's true. When you have a, a near-death experience, you have now the opportunity... To literally wake the fuck up. Because you actually realize you can die at any moment. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Nothing matters but literally taking care of yourself and you. Because after this life, it's not over. That's where you find out when you have those near-death experiences. And sometimes it might have to happen to you multiple times to fucking realize it, man. You know how many times that's happened to me? And every time it's happened, it's always been a car. Me being hit by a car. I mean, God forbid that happens to me, obviously, but those, you know how many close that was? Inches. I make a part two.